Welcome everyone. My name is Ryan Fazan. I'm really excited to be here at Coverings talking to Antonio at uh, a manufacturer that's near and dear to my heart, Portolanosa. I started my foray in ceramics 30 years ago working for a Portolanosa distributor. So uh, <clears throat> I know this company very well and I think we're going to be talking a lot about sustainability because that's top of mind for a lot of people. That's the topic. And I know it's something that Portolanosa has always been a front runner of. Yeah. Um, so now, in the Spanish industry, it's it's a government mandate, and it's also a cost of doing business for mm. companies to have a sustainable mindset. I know it's always been top <clears throat> of mind for Porcelanosa. Mm -hmm. Maybe walk us through some of the things that Porcelanosa has pioneered, and where you're looking to in the future to improve your sustainable um, effects in production. Well, the most uh, immediate uh, steps we took it was the automation of a lot of the processes that before we had from like trucks to like forklifts, everything is electric and we run in uh, photovoltaic uh, solar panels, made a huge investment in uh, LGVs that, you know, they run uh, throughout the factory, taking, you know, pallets to our logistic center, everything yeah. through robotics, autom automation. And the logistic um, center itself is something pretty amazing to behold. It's vertical warehousing, everything's automated. Everything from, we have four production plants, uh, everything is tunnel uh, underground and everything is electric and photovoltaic powered. So right. uh, we don't have traffic in the surface or no uh, emissions in that sense. So some of the biggest steps uh, are probably in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, for years you've been doing uh, sustainable energy from cogeneration to photovoltaics, yeah. I think Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Portolanosa does so well at it, you actually create more than you can use and it's it's then That's sold correct. back to the grid. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, some of the challenges, as you know, in our industry is the kiln that is still running in natural gas, but we are huge in research and development, biofuels, uh, green hydrogen, obviously we are still far, but we continue to uh, learn and continue to put the, the time in research and development and hopefully in the future we can accomplish the goal. Yeah, I, I, I know that just last year the Valencia region secured a lot of funding for research and development right. for... Mm -hmm. Uh, different uh, sustainable hydrogen sources yep. and, and Portolanosa has been deeply involved in that process. So yep. that's cool. Now, obviously for consumers as well, sustainability is top of mind for the products that they're they're specifying and mm -hmm. and that sustainable mindset flows through into Porcelanosa's production yep. development as yep. well. Yep. So maybe tell us a little bit about that. Well, one of the things that uh, it's been popular in Porcelanosa uh, regarding sustainability is our green issue that you can find in the website where we actually walk through our customers in all the different steps and uh, that we are accomplishing. Uh, in, in the past three years alone, in a region very close to Porcelanosa, in three years, over 13,000 trees were planted to you know, uh, regenerate, to help reduce that car carbon footprint. We measure you know, uh, all the products we produce, the carbon footprint, so we can also be audited and provide a third party numbers available to our customers so they can compare to other manufacturers what we're doing and value also uh, that sustainability as much as we as we do. You know? Yeah, and I mean, transparency since day one from the company's inception has always yeah. been one of the tenets that you've always stood by. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think as the rest of the world is catching up and, and being yep. transparent, you're still becoming a front runner and, yep. and showing as much transparency as possible. Exactly. So I have to applaud that for a company that's as innovative and as boundary pushing as you are. Um, Thank you. To, to be as transparent as you are, I think yep. it's a really good uh, mm -hmm. example to set. Yep. So finally, I think one of, the, one of the most important things for consumers, and it's another area that you've really pioneered, is the transitions from inside to outside. Things like uh, mm -hmm. dynamic anti-slip finishes and Correct. where's Porcelanosa going for the transition from inside to outside? Well, we are all in. As, uh, as you know, Porcelanosa is, uh, it goes beyond the ceramic, uh, being a ceramic tile manufacturer. Uh, we are uh, at the service of the designers and architects. Uh, monochromatic design has been huge in, in, in the past few years, so having the possibility the availability, the modularity of different products, different thickness, inside, outside. We can see some examples around the showroom. 
uh, where we have like wall, indoor and outdoor application, uh, non-slip finishes. Now we are also working on texture so the customer not only can select the same tile in a non-slip finish but also more finishes yeah, like structure. texture, boost hammer, uh, porcelain uh, looking tiles, yeah. different thicknesses, systems that we provide and we help engineer like you know adjustable pedestals for decks. Uh, we do rain screen facades that are also very sustainable since we were yeah, uh, um, talking about that topic. Uh, it's really, you know, uh, something we focus a lot. Uh, Porcinos, as I mentioned, we are four manufacturing facilities and we turn uh, production plan number three into our uh, special piece facility. So everything okay. from like pool coppings to like planters uh, to like, you know, finishing uh, any sort of uh, technical steps, uh, floating stairs. So a uh, vast uh, finished uh, product can be out of the door in our factory, not yeah. only supplying the tile, but also solutions for our customers, architects, designers, and homeowners, of course. Yeah, and I, I, I think I remember from the last time I visited that you, you're doing some ceramic adjacent stuff that also supports outside, like the smart kitchen, where it's an aluminum yeah. frame and you're cladding it in ceramic, so that can be integrated with all of the traditional ceramics as well. That's right, especially, you know, during pandemic, you know, there was a huge trend to invest more outside and, uh, you know, people will stay home and spend more time. So we developed the off-road kitchen that is, you know, has a carcass material, honeycomb uh, construction in aluminum. Uh, the, the product, the kitchen, the cabinetry itself is finished in uh, a veneer, quarter of an inch veneer, and top with a countertop in half an inch where we can integrate also an invisible yeah. uh, induction cooktop. So, you know, uh, that complements perfectly our tiles and, you know, all the uh, interior design as well. So Yeah, I mean, it, like it really is the whole package when, uh, when you're talking to a company like this that can just provide solutions that are everything the market is looking for. Mm -hmm. So, Antonio, it's so nice to see you guys back at Coverings. Uh, I hope that you have pleasure. a wonderful Thank you for the trip. visit and uh, we're looking forward to, to next year already. Perfect. Thank you, sir.